in a vibration test, the test must run for a particular duration. In various test types, those durations could be number of cycles, they could be a time period. So let's take a look in our software as to how to change test duration. Let's do a new test and there are a variety of types of tests. Sign and random are the two most common tests that we tend to run. If I click on a sign test and go to advanced test, you'll see that here is the test profile. And we've talked about the test profile in terms of G level and frequency range. And the next tab is the schedule. And under schedule, we can indicate what we want to do for that 1G level test that goes from 30 hertz to 100 hertz. We might want to sweep up from uh, 30 hertz to 100. We might want to sweep down. We might want to hold at a particular frequency. There's a variety of things we might want to do. The question is, if we were sweeping up, for example, what is the duration of that test? Is it going to be one sweep, go 30 to 100? So you can set it in terms of sweeps and how many sweeps. Do we want 100 sweeps? Um, do we want 100 cycles there and back? Do we want to set it for a particular amount of time in terms of hours, minutes, seconds? Um, so there's a variety of options for the test duration in a sign test. In a random test, similarly, there are there is a schedule tab, and we can run the particular test, whatever it is. This one is a 10 hertz to 100 hertz flat, staying the same level all the time. The schedule could be running it for a particular time frame. Here in random, we're running the test for a certain amount of time. So the test duration is set in the schedule tabs and can be done in terms of minutes, seconds, hours in a random and other values such as number of cycles or sweeps in a sign test.